This video details Epigy's line of gateways. The gateways, this is also a very important aspect of the portfolio. Uh, this gives customers the ability to, in some cases, uh, maybe not completely replace their existing telephone system today, but can attach a uh, gateway to remove maybe the expensive E1T1 they had and move to uh, a voice uh, of an internet protocol uh, service provider. And that way, a customer can not necessarily replace their entire voice network today, but can get some of the cost savings um, from using a, an ITSP. Another situation is, is let's say, you've decided to move your main office to, to VoIP, and you've got um, a 32X, for example, running your headquarters office, but your remote sites are still on uh, legacy analog devices. You could easily install a in, in small gateway, uh, an FXO gateway or even an FXF gateway, to um, connect the, the remote office to the core office giving them a VoIP connection between the two, even though the remote offices are not, have not been replaced with VoIP products. So there's a lot of uh, benefits of also using, using these gateways. All of these products um, work very well, obviously, with the, with the Epigee IPPBXs, but are also purely standards-based and can work with any um, VoIP PBX in the market as well as the traditional connections uh, to a legacy system. The gateways are, again, intended to either add traditional ports to an existing IP network or to simply take a possibly a T1 off of a, a legacy telephone system, bring it into a, a single U1 T1 gateway, and IP enable that connection. That way you can take an existing product without reconfiguring or forklifting, plug in a gateway, and now you've theoretically VoIP enabled that product. All of our gateways have the same um, call routing intelligence that's built into the telephone systems right into the gateway. So you can do your low-cost call routing even with these gateways. So it's a really, really powerful solution. Um, one thing I didn't mention about the, the PBX is that's also true about our gateways is all of these products actually have built-in um, routers as well. You'll notice that all the products have a LAN in the LAN port. There's a built-in firewall um, and other security features, including IDS, to protect and secure these solutions, as well as being able to uh, you know, connect these products up to a, a good data network and be able to support the advanced data networking features. All these solutions also have the ability for VPN. So if you wanted to create a secure tunnel between a couple of sites or even from a gateway to a PBX, you could. So again, some very, very powerful stuff. Just a quick look at the 6FXO gateway. Pretty plain and simple. There's six uh, FXO ports giving the ability to hook up a uh, you know, PSTN connection of one through six ports and have it either route over a data network to a remote office or just be an additional six ports for an existing 32X or whatever you have hooked up uh, in your main office. Uh, this product actually plug and plays for the most part with our uh, IPPBXs. Next up we've got um, a couple of variations of our E1T1 gateways. We're looking at a single E1T1 gateway right now. Um, we've kind of overpowered these boxes to give the ability to fully compress all uh, 24 channels of a T1 to G729. So if you are in a situation where there's bandwidth concerns, you can compress the entire T1 to a low bandwidth codec. Next up is the dual E1T130. It's a two-port uh, E1T1 gateway. And then there's a 60, also a dual port. The difference is between the 30 and the 60 is the number of G729 compression channels. That's the only real difference. The uh, FXS analog gateway, it's a 16-port uh, analog gateway that allows you to quickly hook up 16 more analog telephones to an existing uh, voice over IP network. So if you had for example, um, a Quadro M26X with a 26 
analog telephone ports and you needed a few more, you could attach another 16-port gateway without a problem straight onto that solution.